Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? We start by finding a way in, and then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? It was worth a try. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. All right, there you go. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? here. Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? Well, no 
Tom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. <sighs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. I'll keep looking. These boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. <sighs> I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. We <clears throat> budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's... Some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> recognize that one? Uh... I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. Buried together. It's kind of dark. In like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. This is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Going. Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, 
Where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah, that too. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hail Caesar. <sighs> it's hot in there. Utility totems. Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, that's a little old. Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Whoa. Lawrence of Arabia. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Like classical music. Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Not like they needed the money. I wouldn't want to part with the stuff either. Samurai. Okay. You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. people can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things okay i don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here let's uh let's check upstairs Locked. 
Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Dragon Dome. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Going it alone. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A General History of the Robberies and Murders of the Most Notorious Pirates. <laughs> yeah, more like a generally made-up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. <laughs> Want to take it with you? Nah, it'll just disintegrate in my backpack. You could sell it. Then you wouldn't need to take that job. Well, tonight, let's just stick with what already belongs to us. get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? Well, all right. Let's see what you got then. Ready? Uh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Yeah, let me see. I think it still works. Yeah, come here. Now smile, all right? Don't lose it. Fall.
see you on the other side. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. I'm in. Can you get the door open? <sighs> it's locked from this side, too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Well, that's sad. Got it. So, anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. Got something? <laughs> this is it. Paradise? seen this one yeah me either but that you know that's definitely mom's handwriting put up your hands slowly hey, hey, hey. there's no need for that what is he holding hey hey you keep your gun on me give me my journal <laughs> all right all right all right i'm sorry nathan What now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. 
Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh, hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might, so, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Sorry about the mess. Hmm. All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Holy shit. Hey. 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 Stan? Stan? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her. All right? We have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now.
Sam, I got you. Just jump. The chimney. Come on. Come in. The front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Okay. okay. Hold on tight. I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. We can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined to for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise 
You and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? 